get this thing going. Big time matchup, bowl eligibility on the line, and Ives will let it roll into the end zone. That'll bring out Chubba Purdy, who is going to get the first start of the year. He had been hurt, hampered by a groin injury the most of the season, but he's dynamic, he's a dual threat, and he's got quite the arm. Anthony Grant had been the starter, then had his own fumble issues. Johnson took that job last week. Screen pass on first down, sniffed out. Billy Kemp was the one who caught it. Gains maybe one, really got back to the line of scrimmage. And who's there? Hunter Waller. Purdy this time will hand it off Johnson. Jimmy Shake burst through across the 30 and a good run. Sets up third and two, picks up eight. Here they are on third and two. Handed off Grant around the outside. Grant is going to pick it up with his legs. Johnson back in there on first down. Bullock in motion. And it, Johnson slips through, explodes across the 40, and drags tacklers to the 43. Chubba Purdy looking poised early on this first drive. Hands it off, Johnson to the outside, and spun down across the 45. They'll mark him down about there, gains three more, and again it's third and short. Purdy to throw. Feeling the pressure, flushed out. Purdy on the run, he's got wheels, and he's got the first down. And then some, Purdy turns on the burners, pedal to the middle, he's in. Touchdown, 55 yards. If you're Wisconsin, you think you have the perfect defense call. Jason Matry is going to come on a blitz, and he's going to be unblocked coming from right here, number 23. But he can't make a tackle. And Purdy shows that his groin is fine, and his explosiveness is back. As much as they like to run with Harburg and Sims, the coach has told us he is the most dynamic and explosive runner of all three quarterbacks, and we saw it right there. That was the key word as Albano adds the extra point, explosive, and we just got to see it. It was the fourth longest run of the season for Nebraska, 55-yard touchdown as Vinny Anthony is going to take this kick back from the goal line, and he can't find any wiggle room down to the 20. But what Matt Rule told us is that the sports science people said he couldn't injure it anymore. Mordecai handles the low snap on first down, fires to the sideline, and that's going to be incomplete in the direction of Anthony. Well, he's got a pad on it to, to try to protect. There's like three lever, lay up layers of protection on that pad, but it still hurts every time he throws. Cannot take a snap from under center. Aker is the running back. We'll be watching to see if Braylon Allen makes an appearance, but Aker wiggles through, and he's going to have a first run. down. That is tough running for Jackson Aker, a pickup of 10. First down, back to Aker. Up the gut, nice hole, and delivers a blow across the 40, make it the 35 to the 36. Reimer does come up with a stop this time as he picks up six more. Okay, so two things have happened on two plays already. There have been bad snaps, shotgun snaps, and that's because right in the middle, the polar bear, Nash Huttmaker, is lining up right over the center, and it's causing Bordellini to kind of lose his concentration on the snap. That one was good, but two of them have been bad. And Mordecai, that one just bounces to Chimray DK, and that would be the concern when you talk about throwing ducks. That's what he said he was doing in practice when he first came back. That's a rare miss from a guy as experienced as Mordecai. Yeah, and that's an easy throw. I mean, and he makes those throws most of the time. Again, last week he threw 45 times. He completed 31. That's a heck of a percentage for your first game back. But that was not a well-thrown ball on second down. For 255 yards, third down and four. Here's the go-to guy right there in the slot. Will Pauling, number six. And a flag first. This will go backwards. False start. Offense, number 79. Five-yard penalty, third down. Longo's been proud of this offensive line. How they've played all year, said it's been a bright spot. Third and nine now for Mordecai. Feeling the pressure, gets away. He's got great use of his legs as well. Get it to the outside, but he can't get it past that initial line of scrimmage. Pushed out of bounds with a loss of five. Phil Longo was matter of fact with us. He said Ty Robinson and Nash Huttmaker are going to be the two best defensive tackles we will see all season long. And so far on that first possession, you could see it as that one was dropped. Runs the option, fakes the pitch, looking to get more with his legs, and he'll go down after a pickup of seven. You swing it to the outside for Billy Kemp, makes a move, picks up the first down, and Zachman finally gets him down. 
Offensive coordinator Marcus Satterfield told us he believes the guys are going to want to play for him. You can see it early as he swings it back to the outside. Another completion. This time it's going to go to Malachi Coleman for a gain of six. Second down and four. A lot the motion man. Take it to Johnson. Swing it back to Kemp. And he's going to have enough space for another first down to midfield. This is just surgical work early from Chubba Purdy. But Doni, the motion man, play clock down to two. Just get it off. Pitch it. Throwing. Grant. Double pass. Back to Purdy. And oh, he is devoured. Preston Zachman run it the entire way. Major loss for Nebraska. Sets up second and 20. Just get the playoff. Purdy back to the air over the middle. Complete. First down and more. Extending Jalen Lloyd. He's going to take it in. Perfection from Purdy. 58 yards for the touchdown. What a throw. Now there was a defender that slipped down, I think, trying to make the tackle, but a perfect throw on time with accuracy in between defenders. Dropped it in there, a missed tackle, and a big play, an explosive play out of the Nebraska passing game. There have not been a lot of those this year. Most of their explosive plays have come via the run, but that was a huge play. Extra point from Alvano is good. What a start for Nebraska. First drive, six plays, 75 yards. Second drive, six plays, 76 yards. Both ended with 50-plus yard touchdowns. First one, Chubba Purdy on the ground. That one goes to Lloyd, 58 yards to the house. It's 14-0 Huskers who are trying to end a six-year drought of bowl eligibility. This one's going to be returned by Vinnie Anthony for Wisconsin. Jumps through across the 30 and converged at the 33. Braylon Allen is in the game for Wisconsin. That one was a low throw but handled by Pauling and picks up three. They must feel a little sense of desperation right now. And Braylon Allen wanted to be in the game. And he's going to carry it here. Slips the tackle. Allen is going to plunge forward to the 39. Three more will set up third and four. Pauling the motion man. Of course, Mordecai missed three games himself. Here's a third and four. Mordecai in the pocket over the middle complete who else but Will Pauling spins away from a tackle and brings it into Nebraska territory. Aker back in there two carries 16 yards Aker is running effectively in limited action. He's got the pill Aker looking for some space and he'll just put his nose forward flag is down as he picks up two. personal foul. field position hands to the face offense number 60 15 yard penalty first down. Nowakowski the motion man first and long. Take it to Aker. Good protection. Mordecai running out of time is going to have to run it and he's tripped up from behind. Quick bolt to the quarterback by Luke Reimer. Luke Reimer did not and ended up getting the sack the 30th sack now for Nebraska. This Nebraska front seven has been outstanding all year. Oh what a hit. Pauling held on to it but Mark. Marquise Buford delivered the boom, picks up five. Tony White coming over from Syracuse, spent the last three seasons there. Third and 24 for this Wisconsin offense. And it's batted down. Mordecai had it denied. Ty Robinson gets his big mid on it. incomplete, it's fourth down. So Atticus Bertrams will send it away again. Goes off the side of his foot, but actually a decent kick with an outstanding bounce and roll all the way to the 11-yard line. 2-10 to play in this opening quarter. It's been all Nebraska and Chubba Purdy at quarterback. Ty Han, the motion man, pinned deep at their own 11. Fake the handoff. Purdy is going to roll out. Has to get out of the end zone, and he does. Purdy, shifty, loses yards. Purdy on second and 13. Fires over the middle. That was dangerous. Nearly picked. I think if Waller would have went for the ball, it would have been picked. Purdy, deep drop, hit as he throws. Incomplete, overthrows Kemp. And Wisconsin finally gets a stop, but a flag does come in. Oh, this could be a hit on Purdy. Personal foul. Roughing the passer with low contact, defense number 28. 15-yard penalty. Automatic first down. That's the freshman Christian Aliegro who has really come on and he gets home, but he hits him too low. That is a critical mistake 
on what was a third down stop. Now they'll run it. Anthony Grant up the middle, finds a hole, picks up 10. What a deflating penalty and play. First quarter winding down, back to Grant. And gets converged after four more on the ground. Jake Cheney, the first one there. Right now in this ball game, an outstanding first quarter by new starting quarterback, Chubba Purdy. So that penalty extended the drive. They keep Grant in the game on a second down and six. And we'll see if they stay with the ground game. They will. Grant is just a hard runner. Physical football. That's what Matt Rule likes. Gains three more and makes it third and short again. Emmett Johnson back in the backfield on a third down and three. Purdy back to throw. Delivers. Complete. Kemp. First down. Moves the chains. Hand off Johnson. Stutter step move and will gain three. Second and seven for Purdy. Looking to escape the pocket and does get away. Purdy stays on his feet out of bounds for a first down. Johnson on the give. Get back to the line of scrimmage and just disappears into the pile. Second and ten. Deep drop. Purdy surveys. Tucks it, runs again. Purdy, that wiggle, the burst, the speed, a little bit of everything for five more. Big third down play here for the Badger defense. And this could be two down territory for Nebraska. 11th play of the drive is a run for Anthony Grant up the gut, and he's going to be a half yard shy. And this is where that decision comes in. Four yard pickup, and it's fourth and very short. Likely the offense to stay on the field. Fourth and half a yard. Hand off up the middle. It's short. Close. I don't know if he got it. Emmett Johnson tripped up and gets stonewalled. Daryl Peterson. Mike Tressel was fired up coming into this game. Wanted to see intensity from his defense. That's the type of play that can ignite it. Now Mordecai in trouble is going to have to let it fly. Across the field he goes and finds a completion of Tucker Ashcraft for a modest gain of five. Yeah, great coverage downfield and Mordecai able to at least find an outlet and get a positive gain. Raylan Allen back in the game right now, but they had a season low 86 yards rushing a week ago against Northwestern. Play action pass, quick release, and it's Pauling close to the first down marker. They're going to give it to him. Yeah, forward progress definitely with first down. And that was actually Quincy Burroughs. His first catch of the season comes on a first down pickup. No Bryson Green in this game on the outside for Wisconsin. So Burrow, C.J. Williams, Vinny Anthony all going to get a little bit more run than they're accustomed to as Allen stays in there in the backfield. Play action for Mordecai again. Steps up, delivers it deep. Separation complete. No, incomplete. Yeah, just a little bit Rolling too far outside. Incomplete pass. It's second down. Finally go to the ground after seven straight passing plays and Allen is going to get all the way to midfield with five more. Braylon Allen you know this game means something to him not just the fact that it's a trophy game between these two not just the bowl eligibility but it was the Wisconsin Nebraska game that sparked his love for football as Mordecai fires on the run and just fits it in a tight window. That's a first down catch for Tucker Ashcraft. Yeah, really nice job by Mordecai just moving in the pocket as they go tempo because Hutmaker was getting pressure in the inside. He just avoided, evaded that and made the throw for the first down. Bell the motion man on first down. Swing it to him now. Here goes Skyler Bell. Tight rope down the sideline. He stepped out of bounds. I like the idea of a little tempo here. They've got good field position. They've got a couple first downs. Now Nebraska is substituting wholesale on personnel and Wisconsin Mordecai trying to go fast again. But they're holding them up. As long as there is a substitution by Wisconsin, they'll enable the defense to substitute as well. Mordecai, a dart, and there's a first down catch. It is Pauling to bring it in. No, it's Burroughs again. Crush out of downs, Burroughs will stay in there. And Allen has played this entire drive. Mordecai will run it himself, weaving through, gets to the 26. Design quarterback draw. Raylan Allen was the lead blocker on that play and a positive gain again. Watch Allen just kind of lead up in here. 
He's not 100%, but he's showing some guts and some courage as well. We've already talked about how tough Mordecai is playing with the broken bone in his hand. Allen showing toughness too. Play action to Aker. Mordecai looking back towards that way. Wide open. Aker's going to walk in. Touchdown, Wisconsin. They strike back. Bakos adds the extra point. 26 yard touchdown pass. So the first two Wisconsin drives, 12 plays, 12 yards, two punts. The last one goes nine plays, 66 yards, and the eventual 26 yard touchdown to Jackson Aker as Gavin Lom sends it into the end zone. Go I formation on first down with Anthony Grant as the tailback. Pitch it to him. Grant looking for running room and he finds it. The seam and the 11 yard pickup on first down. How about the other side? Grant and this time well read by this Wisconsin defense gains three. Purdy on second down feeling the pressure. He gets slammed by Nizir Forkerine. He did not recognize the blitz until too late. Nebraska has been effective on third down but this one third and 15 a long way to go. Zone looking defense right here maybe just a three man rush. No they're bringing four. Purdy rolls Purdy looks and he's just going to tuck it and get a couple of the yards back. That true freshman 6'4", 228 as Vinny Anthony is back to receive from Buscini. And we're going to let this bounce it takes a Oh wow was that touched I don't think so that was awfully close yeah that was a very short punt and it bounced backward and Wisconsin did a good job of staying away from the football and now they have great field position again that's an 18 yard punt the punter thought maybe he could steal the possession back instead outstanding field position for Wisconsin and Tanner Mordecai taking full advantage first down run to the outside and ushered out of bounds just out of the 35 16 yard. Braylon Allen pitch it back pulling on the fake pulling with some room fakes the throw and just turns it upfield for 11 more the last three plays offense coming alive down the stretch in this second quarter this time they'll hand it off and Braylon Allen is dropped in the backfield loses two. Nowakowski the motion man on second and 12 play action pass. Mordecai with plenty of time fires towards the end zone incomplete. Pauling was streaking across the field. Wisconsin has averaged nearly 11 yards to go on their third down. This is a third and 12. Mordecai lofts complete. It is short of the line again but it could be four down territory as Skyler Bell picks up 11 through the air. I think it's smart. I mean it's too far to run without a healthy Braylon Allen. It would almost have to be a pass against this stingy de defense. Bakos 13 of 16 on the year and this one sneaks through from 35 yards out. So they bring it to within four again. Wisconsin won the toss elected to defer to the second half. They have played unblemished football in that sense to this point so far. But if there was ever a time for a backbreaking one and Wisconsin being opportunistic this end of the first half situation would be exactly that. And Trevor Purdy has been stellar so far at quarterback. He's going to run the option, pitch it back for Emmett Johnson. Nearly tripped up, kept his footing, and does get positive yards to the 30, make it the 31 with a flag down. Yeah, well, Waller make the tackle, but he also drew a penalty on Fedoni, the tight end. 24 blocking on 24. It was a Illegal great block in the back. Offense, 10 yard penalty from the spot of the foul. First down. Lloyd who has the touchdown the motion man on first and 19. Purdy over the middle that's a completion of Fedoni. They rave about his ability as a pass catcher at the tight end spot. That's a 12 yard gain. Second and seven screen pass Kemp see what he can do. Oh he gets leveled by Waller. Waller out of the game on this third down and short. Johnson on third and one the hesitation on the first down. Nice patient run by Emmett Johnson. Purdy lets it fly over the middle complete to Bullock first down now clock stops until they reset the chains but we're down under 40 seconds now and Nebraska still with three timeouts that rule keeping them all in his pocket 
Purdy back to the line quickly. A lot of flags down. Purdy to the side, and that is brought in along the sideline, but it feels like this one could be coming back. Yeah, this <laughs> this has to be holding where it was thrown. I think they're going to get the left guard, Justin holding. Evans Jenkins. Offense, number 51. Yep. 10 yard penalty, first down. Purdy surveys, uncorks, wide open, wow. big time gain for a first down of Malachi Coleman. And Wisconsin has to create some pressure on the quarterback here. Option, Purdy turns it upfield, and he is spilled out for a first down. Rule's going to have to use one of those timeouts now with eight seconds left as Cheney goes low to get him, gains 11. And does at least get them in a field goal range. Alvano, the true freshman, seven for 11 on the season. You still have that timeout, also. Purdy with a deep drop. He's looking deep towards the end zone. Lofts it back of the end zone. Incomplete. One second on the clock. Just in the nick of time. So what's Alvano? 42 yards out has hit from 55 this year. Seven for 11 on the season. Alvano's kick won't curve in. Pushed it wide right. And that's how the first half will come to a close. Wisconsin gave up a lot of yards for the second week in a row. I mean, 290 against Wisconsin last week. But the difference, 14 points instead of 24 points. The fourth down stop was huge for the Badger defense. Short return for Vinny Anthony. Alvano couldn't get it to the goal line. It doesn't really matter as he gets to the 25 and not much further. Aker in there. They'll start in the pistol on first down. Oh, a tough snap. And Mordecai with a bad hand had to go and get it. Aker's going to get back to the 25, loses a yard as Marquise Buford gets home. Again, th this happened a couple times early in the game. With Hutmaker right on the nose of the center, it just kind of gets in the head of Bordellini, the center. They had trouble with snaps early in the season. They kind of got it figured out. But that's the third snap that kind of went awry. And with that big dude right over your nose, it's kind of understandable why. But you've got to snap the football accurately first. Especially with Mordecai playing with that injured throwing hand. He will go to the air on second down and long. Lofts it towards the sideline. Incomplete. Tight coverage. Mordecai put it in the right spot. But well done as Pauling couldn't create enough separation. Yeah, this was really good coverage by Omar Brown. I mean, it's a slot fade, so there's a lot of room to put the football. It's a well-thrown ball, but Omar Brown just stride for stride with Pauling, and Pauling not able to get back inside to the ball. Mordecai was looking for whatever contact was there, but that was beautiful coverage by the senior from Minneapolis, Northern Iowa transfer. Sets up third down and 11. Mordecai, happy feet, can't get away initially. Yes, he does. Mordecai, shimmy shake, extends the play, throws to the sideline, well short. Picks up five to Will Pauling, and a three and out forced by this Nebraska defense to start the third. Bertrams will send it away. And this one, a high, booming kick. Catch made, and the return made by Nation. Undercut across the 35-yard line. This drive will start at the 37 after a 40-yard punt. Hunter Waller will not be available. You see no pads. He's got the, the hoodie underneath the jersey, but he is still going to go out there and make sure that his guys are fired up. He's such a playmaker, but he'll still be involved to the highest degree that he can be. Purdy keeps on first down and picks up three out of bounds. So it's Preston Zachman yeah. and Austin Brown, the two safeties out there in Waller's absence. Second down and eight. Purdy fakes one way, dials it up towards the sideline, and overthrows his target, Bullock, out of bounds. And Zachman right there in coverage. Lloyd, the motion man, third down and eight. Purdy with some confusion. They're going to have to take a timeout. No, they didn't get the playoff. There's a flag. Offense, five-yard penalty, third down. Costly penalty. Now you're looking at third and 13. Purdy on a deep drop. Purdy unloads. Incomplete. 
put in the direction of Jalen Lloyd, who had the long touchdown in the first half, and a nice job by this Wisconsin defense to get off the field. So Brian Buscini, who has put 17 punts inside the 20 coming into the day, will send it away to Vinny Anthony in a chaotic situation in that backfield. Anthony will field it inside the 20, slip a tackle, and does get across before he's body slammed to the ground. This will start at the 21. A second possession for the Badgers. They only ran for 42 yards so far in the ball game, but they can't abandon the run. They've got to try to find creative ways to gain some yards rushing. Raylan Allen on first down, surveys and squeezes through for two. Reimer there to make the play, and it's just impressive that Allen's out there right now and gutting it out yeah. the way he looked last week, the way he's looked since the ankle sprain a couple weeks ago against Ohio State. Yeah, well, obviously he's not 100%, but he's trying to play through it and help his team. And another errant snap, I mean, by Bordellini on that play on first down. Mordecai had to kind of reach with both hands to his right to corral that one. Mordecai feeling the pressure, gets away. Now he's got room to run. Mordecai, big gain for a first down. Slides down across the 35, picks up 13. How in the world did he do this? Jeb and Wright, number 33, has a clean shot, and Mordecai doesn't see him. But he kind of feels him coming. He steps up and makes the play. Aker through the hole, gets to the 40, and then a pile converges. They whistle this dead at the 41. Five more on the ground. Let's not forget that Mordecai is running with that bad hand. Yeah. He fumbled the ball last week. And if he gets hit in the wrong spot, things could go haywire. But he's doing a good job of sliding and protecting himself at the end of runs. Aker up the gut. And he gets leveled at the 45. It'll be third down and one. Javen Wright makes up for the missed tackle with a big one there. Allen, first down. To the pistol they go on first down. Jim Ray DK out there as well for Wisconsin. But they're going to hand it to Allen, and he will find that seam again into Nebraska territory for five more. But he looks much different this week. So another week of rehab and rest, and he's better. Mordecai over the middle, wide open, found his target in stride, Will Pauling. All the way to the 30 yard line, 17 more through the air. Well, it's a great job of designing the play. He hits Pauling, but the movement by Braylon Allen out of the backfield brought the linebackers with him and opened up the middle of the field. Productive drive here for Wisconsin. Mordecai with plenty of time. A dart right on target back to Pauling. Knocking on the door of the red zone, second down and one. Mordecai, 13 of 19, 118 yards in the touchdown. Allen, great blocking. Just the seas open up, and he goes right up the middle for the first down carry. Allen up to 21 yards, 10th play of the drive. Mordecai fires, end zone, incomplete, but a flag. Major contact. And Pauling slow to get up. Malcolm Hardzog was the one deep for he, Nebraska. Yeah, and he was grabbing him. It's a slot fade again. So you got a Pass lot of interference room to throw. Defense number 13. The foul yeah. occurred in the end zone. The ball will be spotted at the two yard line. Automatic first down. Yeah, that's a clear penalty. Two tight ends for Wisconsin on first and goal. Allen back in there. Allen, the handoff, the touchdown! Welcome back to the end zone, Braylon Allen. And Wisconsin with their first lead of the ball game. Vekos extra point, 10 plays, 79 yard drive. Ives is going to take it to shy of the goal line and get it across the 25 yard line for a Nebraska team now down by three. Now it's Nebraska's turn. Purdy's still out there and a flag. False start offense number 65 five yard penalty 
first down. Big Teddy Prochaska, 6'10", 325. Wisconsin's two starting tackles are 6'8 and 6'9 or 6'7 and 6'8. I've never tall. seen that many tall tackles. They're tall. That's all you need to know. Anthony Grant bottled up at the line of scrimmage. Jordan Turner got to him. Purdy in trouble on the run, gets rid of it. Oh, is that intercepted? He was out of bounds, but he it was is. close. Zachman got his hands on it, bobbled it as he went out of bounds anyway, and a flag on the field. Oh. Right on the field is an incomplete pass. An eligible receiver downfield, offense number 63. That penalty's declined. It's third down. Well, they're probably going to take a look at this again. I mean, the penalty's declined to make it third down. Does he have one foot down and control the ball? The ruling of an incomplete pass is under review. Okay, the foot is down, but I don't know that he has control of the ball. But then the right foot comes yep. down. Yeah, he did then. It's third down. And there we have it. He never demonstrated control as needed by rule. Good job to make this an incomplete pass and confirm the ruling on the field. Yeah, and the penalty for illegal man downfield declined, so it's still third and very long. So Wisconsin still with a chance to get off the field and maintain this energy that we're feeling right now in Camp Randall Stadium. First real mistake from Purdy, and it sets up third and 15. Dump it down. Whole lot of room to go for Fedoni. Hurdles one, but he can't get past the second. And this is going to be a stop once again for this Wisconsin defense. Nebraska will send out Brian Buscini once again. And Vinny Anthony just waiting to break one of these loose for Wisconsin. Low kick. And Anthony will field it on the run. Stutter step. Anthony reversing field. Anthony gets across midfield and shoved out of bounds at the 40. Braylon Allen on first down, had the touchdown on the last drive, pushing the pile forward and gets to the 44 before he's upended. Right back to Allen. And just keeps the legs churning as he falls forward and sets up third and three. Calling the motion man. Mordecai gains the signals, hands it off for Allen, and he's going to be stopped. Gets back to the line of scrimmage. Now it's decision time at the 33. Got to believe this is going to be a pass. Putting the ball in the hands of Tanner Mordecai. Maybe a little rub route and try to get Pauling out on the flat right here. Mordecai. Pressure comes. Mordecai extends. Fires. Incomplete. And Nebraska's defense finds a way to get a stop. This game's going to eventually come down to who can make more plays in the fourth quarter as Purdy pitches it, and that was the wrong move. C.J. Getz gets right there, and Jalen Lloyd had no running room, loses five. Turn to the outside. Another loss. Billy Kemp gets dumped. Senior night on a chilly night in Camp Randall. Play clock under five. Third and 17. Purdy needs to be very smart here. Purdy delivers. Oh, that's going to be close. Depends where they mark it, and it will be a yard shy to Billy Kemp. They're going to go quick. Fourth and one. Handoff up the middle. First down, I Emma Johnson. It. I love it. Again, that's Matt Rule saying, you know what? We've got nothing to lose. I mean, we're used to these kind of games. We're going to learn how to win these kind of games. They went tempo. They did what they do best, which is run the football inside. Wisconsin wasn't completely set on defense. And the Huskers moved the chains. Grant hesitates, gets to midfield, pushes the pile forward. Jordan Turner was the man to make the initial stop. And it'll be second and seven. Nickel defense in now. Kemp was the motion man. They get it to him on the outside, and he's going to get back to the line of scrimmage. And Purdy looks content to take us to the final quarter. And they're going to blow this.
almost dead. Flag down. False start. Offense number 65. Five yard penalty. Third down. Prohaska again. Seam routes have been open. They've hit those seam routes on kind of switch releases outside. Third and 12 for Purdy. Flushed out of the pocket. Purdy just going to keep it himself and go nowhere. Shoved towards the sideline after picking up four. It's going to be fourth and 11. Now can Buscini pin Wisconsin deep and let that Nebraska defense flex its muscles a little bit. Anthony had a stellar return on the last opportunity. Buscini, high punt, fair catch called and made at the 15-yard line. Mordecai has been dialed in tonight. Only 118 yards, but very few mistakes. Calling in motion, Mordecai keeps, fakes the pitch, and dives forward for two. Second and eight. Over the middle, low throw, incomplete. That may have been jarred loose as Noah Kowski had to go down. That may have been jarred loose by a foot. I got to see this again. I think the ground jarred it loose. I mean, it was a low throw, probably still a catchable pass. Yeah, it just went off his knee and hit the ground. So a miss there, gets swatted backward. Leads us to third and eight. Mordecai, a BB over the middle, complete. Who else but the third down go-to guy? Will Pauling moves the sticks. Both Mordecai and this man, Braylon Allen. Wiggles his way for three. Allen always thought he'd be a wrestler until that 408-yard Melvin Gordon explosion against Nebraska as Mordecai completes again to Tucker Ashcraft. Mordecai sees some daylight. Mordecai, that extra move is going to get him the first down. Six on the ground. And nifty running by Mordecai. Allen, big hole. Allen into the secondary. 73 yards rushing now in the second half for Wisconsin. Back to their bread and butter. First down in Nebraska territory. Right back to Allen. Couple of jump cuts inside the 40. And off on second and seven. Aker finds the slither of space in that defense and brings this to a third and half a yard. Aker barrels oh my forward. Goodness. Met in the backfield. Rejected. What a tackle. Allen up the middle. Drag backward, Nebraska gets the stop. Omar Brown, beautifully done. So the 11 play drive stalls out at the 32. Start on the ground for Nebraska. Tough running for Grant as he gets across the 35 to the 36. Back to back fourth down stops for the Nebraska defense. And when we talked to Matt Rule, he said, sometimes if you, you want to learn how to win in November yeah. in close games, you got to learn by losing. They yep. did that last week in a close game against Maryland. This feels like their no, most recent pop quiz, so to speak, in another close game in the fourth quarter. Third and five. Purdy sets. Purdy gets away, stays on his feet, got a block, and he's going to be short. Games three. Gets to the 40, fourth straight punt for Buscini and this Husker offense. And Vinny Anthony looking to ignite once again. Buscini got hit. No flag's going to come in, and the fair catch made at the 25 by Vinny Anthony. When we talked to Hunter Waller, the Wisconsin safety yesterday. He said, this is Big Ten football at its finest. We've seen it, certainly in the second half in a slugfest and that's going to continue on this first down carry no running room for Braylon Allen and Ty Robinson living in the backfield. Allen stays in there on second down and 15 Mordecai 15 completions only 134 yards he's going to tuck it and run Mordecai so adept at finding the creases of the defense with his legs spilled across the 30 12 yards on the ground it sets up third and short it's third and four Allen battling through pain with that sprained ankle still in there. 
Mordecai looks, fires, right on time, right on target. And once again, another third down conversion for Will Pauling, who is slow to get up. We'll see what it looks like for the time being with Pauling on the sideline. They'll run it with Allen, and he'll lead his blockers across the 50. Hill Longo said, when we have the ball on offense, we want to do one of two things on every possession, score or punt the team inside the 20. Allen emerges through and gets the 45, sets up third down and three. Nebraska has yet to convert on a third down in the third or fourth quarters. Play clock down to three on a third down and three. Mordecai feeling the pressure. Mordecai gets rid of it and dirts it. Nebraska has nobody back. Oh, here they go. Now they've got their return man in, but they may come after this punt. Ten guys at the line of scrimmage. So it will be Billy Kemp back as Bertram tries to pin him. Oh, wow. That was a good rush by this Nebraska special teams, and this one will float and roll into the end zone for a touchback. Party to the air. Over the middle, just overthrows his intended target, Jalen Lloyd. Wow, late flag. Very, very late flag. They're going to call defensive holding. For Kareen, number 10 was the defender Prior in to coverage. The pass, holding, defense number 10. 10 yard penalty, automatic first down. So they called holding right there. Purdy. First down again, and this time it's a completion as he fires it into the body of Thomas Fedoni for four yards. This time back to the ground. Johnson slithers through. Johnson lowers the shoulder, still on his feet across midfield. Finally stopped at the 47. Back to Johnson this time. He's driven backward. Big time pressure, Gio Paez among the first ones there. You want to get part of the yardage back here if you're Purdy, but you don't have to get it all on this second down play. Purdy gets out of trouble. Purdy can run it, and he will for the first down. Turns it upfield, and he's out of bounds, just shy of the 25. Play clock under five, and will, oh, it's Wisconsin yeah. that's going to take the timeout. I think if you're Wisconsin right here, you have to be alert for the running of Brock Purdy, not just the throwing but him as a runner in this part of the field. Johnson up the gut. Johnson spun down across the 20. Pitch it. Johnson following his fullback. He stopped. Now they're going to call a timeout, but they also may run one more play to decide if they want the ball right in the middle of the field or if they want to keep it on this left hash. Purdy keeps following blockers. Purdy is going to have the first down across the 15. The mark him down another the 15. And the timeout is taken with 13 seconds. Purdy's going to take his shot. Surveys, fires, back of the end zone. Incomplete. Seven seconds remaining. And now the decision, do you have enough time to take that second shot? Tristan Alvano, the true freshman. Brian Buscini to hold. Marco Ortiz to snap it. A 30-yarder to tie the game. And Alvano knocks it through. I, I'm not a big fan of icing the kicker, but I'm surprised Luke Fickle didn't use one of those timeouts right there. Booted away. Squib kick. Scooped up. What kind of magic do they have? Not a whole lot. Sends us to overtime. What's your call? Tails. Tails is the call. It is a tails. We're going to toss. You're going to defend? Okay. Excuse me. And then which way would you like to go? Okay. It'll be first down to Wisconsin, heading to the north end zone. Freedom Trophy on the line, more importantly, bowl eligibility on the line for two five and five teams, and no Will Pauling to start this drive for Wisconsin. Allen on the handoff, and he's going nowhere. Stood up at the line of scrimmage. And without Pauling, without Bryson Green, and with a limited Chimray DK, 
if they do go to the air where does Mordecai go he's going to hand it off again and Allen again has nowhere to run and it's Omar Brown matched up with him Mordecai pumps Mordecai fires complete first down Vinny Anthony patient in the pocket found his receiver and keeps this drive alive in overtime swing it to the outside there is DK who's been quiet and he'll be spun backward right the line of scrimmage by Buford Mordecai playing through some pain in his throwing hand after the broken hand earlier in the season he's going to go back to the air gets away from the first rusher lofts it towards the end zone and throws it away Mordecai up the middle he sees the space and he's got it it'll depend looks like maybe a yard short as they mark him down at the five I would run Mordecai and get an extra hat it's Allen instead plunging forward oh, he's got it run. first and goal what a tough run Allen Wow. Keeps the legs churning. He's in. Touchdown, Wisconsin. How about that for toughness? A remarkable game for the local kid, a junior, putting together another signature moment with his second touchdown, and it's 24-17 in OT. Starting the I formation with Bonner, the fullback. Option, Purdy, pitch it, Grant. Back behind the line of scrimmage, Daryl Peterson. If you're throwing the football, I think you got to think about Padoni here, your tight end in the slot. He's a big target. Three catches tonight. They are throwing a quick strike. Knocked in the air. Incomplete. For Kareen. Got a hand on it. Bat it down. Lloyd, the motion man. Play clock down to two. And yeah, Nebraska's going to take the timeout. I think they're going to run out of there, though. I don't think they're going to bring pressure. And a flag. Oh, boy. If this is movement. False start offense, number 63. Five yard penalty, third down. Purdy steps up, delivers. Too tall. Looking for Coleman, and it's fourth and the ball game. Purdy gets it off. This is for the ball game. Purdy lofts it up. Knocked away and intercepted. Preston Zachman seals it. And Wisconsin is bowling for the 22nd consecutive year. 